exception handling in javascript we'll start off with a simple html page we'll say the title for this is uh, exception handling in javascript okay and uh, we'll directly go with the script we're not going to have any html code we'll directly write the script here why my script tag didn't close so what are the important keywords for exception handling is i'll write the keywords here one is try and another one is catch so you're going to catch the exception here and take some actions when an exception occurs and then we have finally keyword what is the use of finally whether an exception occurs or not the finally block will execute that's because you should release some resources maybe when an exception occurs or even when the program successfully completes you have to release certain resources so finally block so i'll uh, uh, write it here finally block will always execute if an exception occurs or not what is the use of try what is an exception say i'll give an example the famous example is if you divide a number by 0 that becomes an exception right so anything that is unexpected happens while execution of your code exception is something all of a sudden happens that you have to handle so what you do is wherever you think your exception will arise that part of code you are going to embed here so what is that you are going to put inside the try block code which code which may lead to exceptions so you embed that within the try block whenever an exception happens you have to throw throw the exception and you have to catch it here i'll given very simple example here it's like an user defined exception for instance i love this variable x to be 2 let's assume that the user enters 2 i'm not happy with this variable i just check if x equals 2 i will be throwing an exception the keyword is throw here it can throw an integer it can throw a string it can throw a boolean it can throw an object let me throw an string here satish is throwing this exception okay so this is the string we are throwing and we are catching it here and we can write it to the document say document dot write the message what is the use of catch block is to catch the exception and then handle the situation so after you handle it it will execute the finally block maybe we will have some statements in the finally block too say we'll write document dot write say finally block code executes see what will be in the finally block we have learned uh, mostly you will be accessing files you may be working with uh, some resources that you are holding on to which you may release when the exception occurs or when you successfully complete the program to you want to release those resources then you put that code inside the finally block so now we are checking if x is equal to 2 we are throwing this exception so what will be the output in the document that is satish is throwing the exception will be returned to the document and finally block will execute finally block code executes will also be shown to the user let me show it in the internal browser here because we are just writing javascript code we'll see the output here so satish is throwing this exception where it is getting printed this one it's catching that string finally block executes from the finally block i told you you can throw a string or an integer or a boolean here let me throw a integer see the moment i throw 500 500 is caught and displayed you can also throw a boolean value true are you clear with throw statement uh, what you can throw you can handle an exception and you can throw whatever you want like a string integer or an object or it can be even a boolean value 
now let us see some inbuilt exceptions in javascript now we will look at certain errors that can arise in your javascript code we will look at errors like range error this is by default caught by javascript type error syntax error and uh, we also have reference error so these are the errors that javascript will catch and if an error like that occurs what javascript does is it will throw an object it will throw an inbuilt object and we'll see how it throws this object and what are the parameters for the object so let me create a reference error first first we'll see what is this reference error in javascript let me declare an array that is constant uh, x to be equal to some array i'll declare 1 2 3 4 now i'll write document dot write if i am performing m of 0 what is happening here is m is not even declared this is x i'm i'm getting a reference error so you are able to see in the output what is shown here reference error is being shown who is throwing this exception javascript is throwing this exception it doesn't understand what is m so reference error is an object so an object is getting thrown so this is an object now and uh, there are two parts for this object one is name for the object the name field contains one is the name field name field contains the name of the error that is the reference error the another uh, uh, field for the object that you are uh, receiving here is message so you are able to see the message also here what is that m is not defined so whatever object that is being thrown has got two parts if i just give the name reference error alone will be shown if i want to display the message how will i access the object dot message so if i refresh this you'll be able to see m is not defined as the message so who is throwing this object reference error object javascript is throwing it's inbuilt did you all get to know what is reference error next let us take a look at range error range error in javascript what is this it has got to do something with uh, let me give an example with uh, number methods uh, let me define let x is equal to some number here 1234.8771 now what i am going to perform here is document dot write x dot to fixed let me say fix it to two decimal places you are able to see the output here i am fixing it to only two decimal places that is 1234.88 so what is the value i am giving to this function dot to fixed a range i am giving if i exceed the range for instance if i give a very large range like this immediately an exception is caught it is exceeding the range and uh, what is the message we are getting two fixed digits argument must be between 0 and 100 so so range error is getting caught an object is getting thrown here what is the message range has been exceeded it should be only between 0 and 100 what is the name for this error if you refresh this you'll be able to see range error being thrown so javascript is throwing all these objects we are not throwing anything here we are just making the mistakes are you all clear with range error next thing is type error type error what is type error in javascript let's have this number if i perform something weird like this on this number that is if i perform dot last index of and then i want to search for one last index of you are going to use that with a string right you can use that with an array but you are trying to use that with a number here so what happens is the error that is thrown is type error we just performing something on a type that is not uh, valid so what is the message for this error dot message what it says dot last index of is not a function because you can't apply that on an integer value so what all errors we have seen reference errors range error type error we will also see one more final error that is syntax error in javascript you have this uh, method called evaluate method which will 
evaluate code that you give within strings for instance if i write document dot get element by id and then i pass some id here right this method will actually execute this code and it will also check if there are any syntax errors here say if i am not closing a parenthesis so you are able to see there is an exception getting thrown the message for that exception object is missing parenthesis after argument list what is the uh, object uh, error name we will just display object dot name you are able to see the error to be syntax error so javascript captures syntax error reference error range error type errors and it throws its own objects how will you handle that the object has two parameters name and message you can give error dot name and error dot message the final question is what as an user if i want to throw this object if i want to throw a range error object if i want to throw a reference error object on my own so these are user defined objects say for instance let's go with let x is equal to 2 i am not happy with 2 let me throw a range or a range error object i'll throw say x is equal to 2 if x equals to what i can do here is throw is the keyword new range error is the object and then you can set a message for this i put my name satish is throwing range error so now our range error object is getting created and the message is set with this message so you can very well see on the right hand side range error is the name what is the message for our object that we are throwing we'll see the message that is satish is throwing range error so what we understand is you can also throw the inbuilt objects in javascript for that what you should do is you should call throw new range error but one advice don't throw objects for such weird scenarios say you can get marks from the user if the mark is not within the range then you can throw a range error throw something that is relevant just because we have the flexibility we should not keep throwing irrelevant exceptions here and there so with that uh, small piece of advice i'll conclude this session any questions